well, it's hard to comprehend mentally and emotionally. The, the coach that just won the national top title, you know, he said, it's hard to com- it boggles the mind, to, you know, how hard this is. It's like, no, what's hard, okay, is doing the right thing over and over again, okay, getting ignored and abused for doing it, okay. That's hard, okay. It's not hard to be excessive and compulsive and then get finite rewards from distracted, selfish people. Okay. That's not difficult at all. Okay. Um, UCLA won 11, 10, 11 championships. Um, uh, the Celtics won so many, uh, the, 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 the uh, Golden State Warriors had won three or four, you know, stuff. So, so Chicago won six. It's, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard to get a bunch of people together that are excessive and compulsive, focus on a common goal, and then attain that goal. Okay. What's hard is being right and doing good and being treated like you're bad and then get up every day and be right and do good. Okay. That's hard. Okay. That's that's difficult. That's why you have all these people on TV talking about you you need mental health care. We need to be mentally healthy. I could learn to love myself first. All that crazy crap these people, these wackadoodles talk about. Okay. So it, if you want to know what's difficult, okay. oh trust me. Okay. If I had focused on basketball, a lot of those guys sitting there would be like, he, he retired after four years, but he was the best basketball coach that ever lived. Okay. He beat everybody. Okay. <laughs> he could get the right. Kids wanted to play for him. They didn't want to play for anybody else. Okay. He was too calm. He was too intelligent. Okay. And then he just quit. Well, because it was the right thing to do. It's better to garden with your kids and um, make love with your wife than it is to spend 10 years running around the continent looking for people that want to do excessive compulsive things that aren't healthy, right? So, and I I, I, got, I tried to get my brain wrapped around being a college coach. And I thought maybe I just want to be high school. And then, you know, me and you go to our Tovar talked about it in Sierra Vista. And he says, you always wanted to teach and coach and as it is, you know, you're the guy and you're going to be one of the greatest teachers and coaches of all time. I was like, I don't really want to be great. I just want to be good because I'm right. Okay. And um, uh, <laughs> I was trying to talk to dad about the brain activity thing that they monitor people the way they code you guys. Um, Coding is just, it's simple. Okay. If you have the uh, propensity for it, Kim Peek, you guys familiar with Kim Peek? He's a savant who uh, could see symbols in mathematics, and and there's lots of kids, Asperger's, that are that way too. And it, it's just accessing a part of the brain that does very simplistic things but can outmaneuver you and outdo it more quickly. Um, it doesn't mean you're sustaining what is necessary to live. It doesn't mean you're doing what's right. It just means you can do something in aggressive, abusive behaviors quicker than other people can do it. That's all it means. Okay. And um, uh, <laughs> I'm one of the best bas- I was one of the best passers in in basketball ever. Okay. When I remember playing it, busting loose, and Danny, when we didn't play that game against the college guys because they would push you around and stuff, and he was like, "You're you're too you you're you're not you know." Um, uh, he usually had me play point guard and then I would drop the dimes. He played point guard against the college guys. Um, we got into that game. That's the game. He, uh, he jammed my finger. I didn't break it. Most probably should have, um, she threw the ball too hard and it, it warped the basketball and cracked the bleachers and I didn't make catch, catch the pass. And he was yelling at me, you need to catch that. And I was like, no one could have caught that. <laughs> it's, it's if I caught it, I would have ended up out of bounds. <laughs> so, pow, <laughs> he threw it too hard. And uh, I, I was never that way. Every every pass was just right. I could get you. If I did, I said sorry, but I rarely, rarely made turnovers when it came to passing. I was, I was, 
I dropped dimes like everybody who ever played an organized basketball game with me just about got a score because of Earl. Okay. I quit playing because it was excessive and compulsive, not because it wasn't fun and I wasn't good at it. Okay, do you understand? And but Jesus had other plans for me. I'm I'm the one who performs the apocalypse, so we all live the Lord's Prayer because I keep doing the right thing every day and I'm being good and I'm being abused, ignored by people who are doing the wrong thing every day and not accepting the Lord's Prayer as salvation for their families. Okay, guys? I love you, right? Peace.